Okay, so it was a bit of a change of plan, guys. We uh, something we didn't see coming. Uh, so last time I spoke to you was actually two days ago. We spent 48 hours in that little shack. I don't know what happened that night. I felt like I, I think I told you I, w I wasn't feeling great and I felt real, real sick. Uh, yeah, I felt real sick. I, uh, I had fever, I was shivering and all, and, and same, same for Saliha. I think we must have caught a nasty little bacteria or virus or whatever that was, but now I don't feel fit for riding. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my bike here and Salia is going to ride us back to uh, a village that's roughly 30 kilometers away, which is called Kilong. And from there, I'm going to get some medicine and rest until I feel fully, uh, until I feel full power again. Because now it's, uh, yeah, it was quite harsh to be honest. The, the past 48 hours were not fun. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's she's full of adventure. Yeah, what a start of our adventure. <laughs> yeah. The people are thinking that, oh, we are, we are fun, we are chilling. <laughs> yeah, chilling. yeah, a lot of fun. Eh? So it's okay. Um, just a little mishap, as we say. It's all good. Yeah, this is the part of adventure. Exactly, yeah. it's part of the adventure. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah, let's go back. I wanted to see if there was uh, my uh, Punjab friends here because for the past 48 hours, there was... Do you think they're gone? Sally? Yeah. Are they gone? Uh, I don't know. There was um, a bunch of people from uh, Ludhiana, Punjab. And they were so nice with me. They, they gave me. They had some like herb medicine. I think it's called a uh, Ayurvedic or something. Uh, I think they are gone now. Yeah. Gurpreet? Gurpreet? Yeah, no, nah. no, nah, they're not here anymore. But anyway, they also are stranded, but for different reason. They went to the uh, towards Le a couple of days ago. Uh, Bar Barala Chapas. There is a quite a high pass and, and the, the car failed so they had to uh, to tow it down here and change the oil anyway long story short five five dudes from Ludhiana really took care uh, of us they couldn't speak English uh, you know my Hindi so it was very limited but uh, all good uh, okay now let's get going Sally how we ride I'll be on the pillion and uh, that's it let's recharge the battery and go again <laughs> Namaste, dust. You wanna, you wanna take one? Or should we kidnap one? <laughs> yes, like just like this. <laughs> Smells like amazing. goat cheese. Yeah. Oh, that was a big one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we had proper food was uh, for dinner two days ago. So it's been uh, yeah, it's been 36 hours without food. We had a, we nibbled a couple of biscuits. I was forcing myself. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, some juices. We had a couple of juice, but I, I couldn't eat like anything solid. So that's gonna help. That's gonna be good for to repair to fix the tummy. We made it. We made it to Chilong and. Um, we stopped in a Tibetan, Tibetan kitchen. Um, very, very good place, actually, very good restaurant. Someone told us the very hygienic Yeah, 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 exactly. So we're gonna stay here tonight. We find a room here. 
uh, very, very good room for a good price, for and um, so we're gonna we're gonna rest this afternoon, chill, sleep well tonight, and hopefully, if we both feel full power tomorrow morning, yeah, we can we can go back again on the road. So um, yeah, let's see. For now, soup time. Yeah, this is what I call the banana porridge with a view. <laughs> wow, what a view to wake up to, guys. Good morning, Frenchie here, live from Kilong, a small village uh, on the way to, to Ladakh. And uh, as you can see, I feel much better today, this morning, after a good, uh, good night rest. Um, had some medicine, this is why we turned back. So, as you know, pretty much we went, we were on the way to, to Ladakh. I was about to enter Zanskar Valley, but then we both fell sick as hell. So we had to turn back to, you know, proper facilities like showers, like toilets, you know, the minimum. We also needed uh, to get, get more cash out. Anyway, uh, after a good night's sleep and a view like that, I mean, look at that, guys. This is unreal. Um, I feel so much better. So unfortunately, Sally Ha is not doing so great. She's still in bed. She still, you know, had a bit of a funny stomach funny Tommy so we'll see I hope we can start riding again today and start the off-road off that would be amazing um, in Zanskar and stay in Pune tonight but if not that's okay we'll chill here today enjoy uh, I stay in a place you see all the flags the um, it's a it's a place held by Nepali Nepali people very very happy with that village I I rode past it obviously on my way to to Darcha, but uh, I don't know I didn't realize the view you know it's it's unbelievable let let me now show you how really uh, the place is okay guys it's now midday midday and oh, the police officer is here the one who helped me mr paul Hello. thanks again for your help yes. uh, i was asking actually the local policeman and some other locals uh, how long it's gonna take us f uh, to to reach uh, Purne in zanskar valley and apparently it's quite quite long four or five hours and uh but S Sally has still still feels a little weak so we're not gonna take any risk we're gonna spend uh, another night here because it's already midday and uh, why not uh, after all you know Kilong is a nice beautiful little village so we're gonna go back to the chemist buy some more medicine rest rest well and tomorrow you will be okay like I of course you will <laughs> Like uh, like I was this morning, you know, I, I felt very great this morning. I woke up, I felt I felt great. So it will be the same for you tomorrow. Don't worry about it. And um, yeah, so stay tuned because the off-roading is starting tomorrow, guys. Look at that, guys! How pretty with the mountains in the background. A very beautiful village. I'm loving it. Namaste. Can you say hey? Uh, Kana restaurant. Okay. Are you local from here? Oh, you make chomen momos. Okay. Okay. Kahan se ho? Nepal. You from Nepal? Beautiful. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so there's a lot of Nepali people here. So many Nepali people living in this village. And you can tell anyway, the physics are a little different, they look a little... Uh, the skin is, skin is a bit more fair. You see that guys, I can't wait to... I think actually that, that's what, what I, can, I might do today. Find a barber shop. Because you think I'm trying to grow a Punjabi uh, moustache? No, I wish. I wish I could grow a Punjabi, a Punjabi moustache guys. It's just horrendous. I need to shave it ASAP. Let's try to find a local barber. Okay, apparently that's the way to the the market because the you have obviously the main road where i was just before and now going down to this like a, a lower part of the village uh, down this way and i think that's where all the markets are uh namaste uh, bye namaste. 
Can you say Hain? Uh, uh, market, yes. this way. Barber no. shop, barber shop. Barber yeah, shop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Um, up Kadina, ciao. Welcome. You see now, I don't make the mistake anymore. I don't say too much I know Up Kadin is more uh, polite. Uh, I, don't, I don't know who taught me uh, too much It's probably Monty. It's probably Monty. You motherfucker teaching me some. Uh, <laughs> if you watch that, mate, I thought you were a good teacher, but now I'm not too sure anymore. <laughs> oh, wow, the view you have from here. You can see it's, it's actually snowing on top. It is beautiful and peaceful. Hello. Oh, be careful not to break a leg. I've already broken some toilets over the past two days. Why am I even saying this? <laughs> Yeah, I was very sick guys and that was not funny uh, Okay, so here weed is not growing but I mean here yeah, it is weed but not the one we can smoke uh, I mean I guess you can smoke everything right uh, Okay, yeah, so there we are in the lower part of the village Namaste Dost Okay Beautiful Oh, that's cool. That's nice and quiet. Okay, so where are we going? Let's try this way. Let's ask actually. Let's ask uh, the local. Oh, there you go. That was easy. Hair saloon. Beautiful. Hello. Namaste, Das. Can I come in? Yeah. Oops. Haircut? Yeah. Beautiful. Namaste. Hello. Namaste. Hi, Okay. Okay. Up can I up can I kill him? As you know guys I love to go to the Indian barber. It's very nice and cheap. Yes. They're doing a great job, they're very friendly. I didn't even ask the price actually. Um uh kit kit me? Kit, kit me? 100. 100. XO, XO. So. So, so. Oh yeah, I don't think I need to say uh, X. Just so is enough. CCTV, CCTV on. <laughs> <laughs> In case he's trying to kill me, I turn the CCTV on. <laughs> <laughs> So, very smart. So, <laughs> so <laughs> don't you but service Ach Bahutacha. Oh, no. Bahutacha. Bahutacha. Quality. Mm. Number one. It's okay. This no Make no problem. Way. Keep 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 for my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need. No, I don't need. It's okay. No okay. problem. Is it okay if I uh, uh, just for me? Mm -hmm. No problem? Just this. I, I can do no problem if you want. Yes? Yeah. Okay? Mm. Baby moustache. Oh. Not no Punjabi moustache, baby moustache. It's giving me a little extra mm -hmm. for the final touches. Mm. Mm. You put the card, yeah. Super good. <laughs> you can see happiness on my face. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. One minute. One minute. One minute. Super. Thank you. Thank you so much, boy. Okay. Next one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I've got Dina Chaho. Dina Chaho. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao, bye bye. It's a great uh, service. You know, uh, 
for 100 rupees. Maybe I can uh, try to go. No. How can I go to the cross? Yeah, anyway, it's great service for uh, for 100 rupees. You know, something I could never afford to do uh, in my country. Go to the barber like once a week, like I do here. And oh, there's another one here. Um, and another one here. Oh, it's like a barbershop street. <laughs> Three barbershop within 50 meters. Yeah, I could never afford to go to the barber once a week in France or in Australia. Um, anyway, so it's it's a bit of a luxury. But remind, um, mind you guys, like I kind of left my uh, comfort zone, as you know, like always on the road, always on the go. So whilst you guys can enjoy, uh, you know being chill at night in the comfort of your lounge watching netflix or whatever you know sometimes i sleep in dodgy places and different places and so it's different so you know when i go to those barber shops it's for me it's my moment of comfort if that makes sense so i'd love to go also now and i know i keep on going down i want to go to towards the uh, the crops and i think there is a river it looks absolutely beautiful i took the drone I want to go and fly the drone there to see how it is. Uh, yeah, so textile, what do they sell here? Clothing, dresses for women, backpacks. Oh, jewelries. That's cool. Oh, they are nice. Oh, bracelets. Hello. Can you say hey? Oh, Bahut Acha. Bahut. Wow, it is, I don't know if it's gold. Is it uh, no. gold? Is it is it gold? Ah, no gold. Gold, no. No gold, eh? <laughs> it's no gold. It's good. No gold, but good. Gold <laughs> yeah, gold design, exactly. <laughs> gold design. She knows. It's a cool little village. It's very like a local uh, atmosphere. If that makes sense. Local atmosphere. Hey, brother. Kaise ho bhai? Take care. Uh, anyway, as you saw, I got rid of my ugly moustache, my baby Frenchy Punjabi moustache that I was trying to grow. No, I didn't even try to grow it. I was just, you know, as you know, I spent the, the past 48 hours pretty much in a, in a little shack without water, shower, toilet, let alone, uh, let alone my shiver. I mean, when you are sick, this is probably the, uh, the last thing you, you think of doing right shaving um, anyway so let's get going I don't know how I can get to to the crops probably down this way actually let's try to go down this way so now I'm walking through the crops there's a cute little path I'm following as you can see and hopefully it's gonna take me uh, straight down to the to the river it's called the, the ba bag river BH a G so not sure how you pronounce that so weird for me to help you guys like Hindi in Hindi you you find H everywhere uh, in the middle of the word beginning at the end so for me as, as a Frenchman it was already hard in English to integrate the H because we don't have the H in French uh, it's a silent letter which is very strange but we are strange anyway so nothing too surprising here but uh oh that's cool look at that with a little water stream on my side i have no idea where i'm going i hope i'm not in a i don't think i'm a, in a private area but i might get shot at soon uh but yeah i think it's the right direction oh look at that guys please Bitch, please <sighs> beautiful but yeah I, I put the 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 oh the jumper on because you see that's how it is in the mountains as soon as the sun is gone well this is it <laughs> it drops like 15 degrees uh, oh it's beautiful yeah so i'm right in the crops now nice and green loving it uh, i'm gonna ask this lady if i'm on the right track uh, i'm just gonna stop here to let her through namaste namaste Kai uh, river? Back river? This way? Super. 
Okay, perfect. I'm on the right way. Wow! No way! Well, this is so pretty. You know, all the different shades of green and, and the mountains, like the brownish, very ruggish. Is ruggish a word? I'm not even sure. Like very uh, rough mountains, you see? Like we can see right here. And then the snow on, on top. And it wasn't, it wasn't as snowy last night, you know, that's how it is here. Just snows for half an hour. And then it just covers in white the, the top of the summits. It's, it's beautiful. Namaste, bye. And, but it's annoying with the GoPro, you know, I don't know if you guys use GoPro, but it, it's so dark. It's very, it's a very shit camera when it comes to, uh, um, to dark, uh, dark lighting, uh, unfortunately, but as I it is, I think I just stopped at a perfect place. I'm going to stop here, fly the drone, show you around. And just one thing, you see that, uh, a house like a house it's actually a monastery uh, locals told me it's a, a buddhist monastery right there so i actually i'm going to try to fly the drone to see it from a, from a closer range <laughs> Pretty nice drone shots, eh? Wow! Well, it's quite easy to be honest. I'm not the best pilot, but uh, when you show like beautiful crafts with different shades of greens and and the mountains and the snow and and the river down the valley and and the monasteries and then oh, yeah, it's endless. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. I uh, before before finishing the video, I just wanted to. Uh, to thank you really from the bottom of my heart uh, because without you I I yeah I, I wouldn't be I would probably be you know filming and stuff but it would be different it's always great to feel the support and, and love from from the community we are growing together so uh, thanks again uh, I think at, at, this, at this time of shooting we're just a bit above uh, 40k 40,000 which is a great achievement I think I entered India with uh, something like maybe 5k or something but I wasn't to be honest before India back when I was in Pakistan I was only I wasn't really serious about the YouTube channel I was only posting um, you know once a week once every two weeks it was like a side a side uh, hobby for me but now I take it more seriously because I see the potential and I also enjoy it more and more uh, so again thanks a lot for your support I really appreciate it uh, know that without you uh, I wouldn't be you know filming all that so yeah that's it guys uh, enough enough uh, mumbling enough rambling as we say and I'll see you in the next video love